His name, Harry C. Spencer, a firefighter. During the rescue of a girl named Melissa, he stumbled across a counterfeiting ring. As a result, he lost his job and his girlfriend. Claire Anderson was killed by the Mafia. Burning with anger, Harry swore revenge upon her killers. Leaving the city, he trained under an ex-military vet to become a killer. Time passed. Harry, now a top-ranked sniper, returned to the corrupt city in order to exact his revenge. There, he received a phone call from a girl who called herself only C.A. She offered to provide him with information on the Mafia's activities. Even through his lingering doubts, Harry strangely found that he could bring himself to trust C.A. So with her help and advice, Harry began a concerted attack on the Mafia. It was only after killing the Mafia boss and completing his revenge that C.A. appeared before him. She was Melissa, the girl whom Harry previously saved. What is more, she possessed the memories of Harry's murdered girlfriend, Claire. And so, amid this confusion, their journey began. A journey in search of something lost. Not someone's day, is it? Sorry, kid. Why didn't you stop and help him? We're on the run, remember? We can't afford to stand out, take risks. So we just leave him stranded in the middle of the desert? I don't get the feeling that many cars come this way, and even if another one does, it'll probably just drive right past as well. I thought you were a better person than that. Look, right now... Right now has nothing to do with this. If this mess is going to make you stop being yourself, maybe you should just get caught. You're right, CA. I have had my revenge. I don't have to live like that anymore, to be on edge all the time. Wow, thanks. I'm safe. My name's Stanley Jones. I'm a precision engineer for Aquarium Electronics. An engineer? I would have thought an engineer could handle a little car trouble. Yeah, me too, but that hunk of scrap is far beyond even my skills. You know them doctors that get sick because they don't look after themselves? Now I know how they feel. <laughs> I'm Harry. Harry Spencer. Former firefighter. I'm... Claire. Claire Anderson. But people normally call me C.A. Have I heard those names? Somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry too. Let's get something to eat. Okay, well, I know this great little place in Sacramento. As seeing as I owe you guys my life, it'll be my treat. I insist.
I recommend the chicken special, best for miles around. Ouch! Hey, watch where you... Uh, I'm very sorry. Ooh, scary guy. Abby, three chicken specials and some coffees as well. So, got your eye on her, have you? Now I know why you heap praise on this place. Well, there is that, but the chicken special here is really good. Okay, just give me a minute. What a guy. So, here we are. What's next, Harry? Harry? What's up? Huh? Oh, that guy. The one Stanley bumped into back there. Oh, him. He was a little scary. You know who he is? No, but he smells the same as I do. Harry, you don't smell. I mean, the smell of a killer. And there's pain in his eyes. Sure you're not just thinking too much? And anyway, he is totally different from you. He didn't seem half as cold for one thing. Harry! What? Just stay where you are. Damn! How did they find me? certainly give a warm reception anyway. How come they're so happy to see you? Don't call me boss. Come on, it kind of sounds cool, okay? Stanley, use this. Abby! You know how to shoot that, boss? I have a reasonable idea. I, on the other hand, have never been good with things that kill people. Ooh hey, Stanley. Looks like your angel has misplaced her halo. Well, if you find it, I'll happily take it back. Bad news, boss. CA's pinned down. Damn. You'll be Swiss cheese before you reach her. Then I'll shoot them from here. Yeah, right. An amateur like you? Watch and learn. A miracle. We need a miracle. trouble. Ugh. You're red hot! 